Hey guys, welcome back to the Ramblin' Railroad and Railroads Online. I just finished bringing several loads of logs here to the sawmill. We should have uh, pretty much a full load here of beams and planks. Or, uh, yeah, beams and planks. So we got a new patch update, uh, build uh, 211227. And while we're transitioning back to the uh, freight depot here to pick up the next load, we'll talk about it. <clears throat> Let's see, first here we got 100 beams. Hopefully we have 100, uh, oh we have to, that's right. We only have 57 uh, lumber because we're full up on beams. So as soon as we start taking beams, more, more lumber will be produced. You see all the logs there, I got 100 out of 100 over there. I'm slowing down a little bit because I need to take a look at the switch. Not sure that the switch is set right. It's not. So I need to uh, run over there and switch it real quick. <clears throat> so the first thing that they changed, you know, the patch, is they fixed the position of rear link on freight car couplers. Um, well, you know what? I got to switch other switches too here. The next thing they did, they fixed the Eureka brake lever. Uh, they changed the freight car unloader setup and game mechanic. This is big. Uh, the freight must now be unloaded by pressing the enter key. Unload can be toggled on or off. Key bind, key rebind, and options controls. So I believe you no longer walk up to it and, and click and hold down. You have to like press the enter key. Um... Let's see, they fixed the caboose spawn in the same spot. Apparently they're having some issues with that, and I never came across that. Uh, they fixed the caboose going over a 9 degree rail crossing. I don't have any of those either, and uh, apparently they got it fixed though, so that's great. Let's see, what else? They fixed the log collision, the player was getting stuck on a log. Um, I've actually had that experience once or twice. Run on top of the logs, you get stuck. Um, the steel pipe can now be sold at the freight depot. Well, I haven't produced any steel pipe yet. I certainly haven't tried to sell any of it. So... But I'm glad they got that fixed. Fixed a bug where not placed facilities would be removed when opening the construction menu. I'm I don't think I've ran into that one. I'm, I'm no, I don't know. Switching between the UI mode and non-UI mode does not reset the current local controls. Oh, ho, ho, really? Um, let's take a look here. We'll enter the vehicle, and then we'll get out of the vehicle, and we're still trugging along. Look at that. Well, that's fantastic. That's great. That's I'm very happy they fixed that one. Um, they fixed a client replication distance for oil barrel ramp. Fixed a bug where re-rail of a connected tender would launch the game. Oh, would launch the engine. Excuse me. <laughs> <clears throat> Fixed a bug where there was a link loaded instead of a connecting rod for a couple or a couple tenders. Uh, okay. They fixed a bug where control widget would show in third person. They fixed a bug where enter vehicle widget would overlay active widget. I'm not sure what they're talking about with those. They set the camera collision for grade splines uh, and set network connection timeout to 60 seconds. So if you're playing multiplayer, they set the timeout to 60 seconds. I don't know where it was at before. So Let's see how we doing on... Uh, I guess I can just do that now. Just taking a look at my stats here. We're just trugging along kind of slow. So what do we got to do today? We need to uh, we need to haul some more materials because I did some math, and of course now I can come into this view. 
we have uh, three thousand five hundred eighty-four dollars, and for one of the locos, I want plus two coal cars or iron ore cars. I need six thousand eighty, and that's two of those cars and a locomotive. That's not counting the additional rail uh, two hundred series. Um, oh, we're we're going fast here. That's not the additional 200 series cars, the train that we're about to pick up. So, I gotta factor in that cost too. It's gonna be right about probably $7,000. Well, maybe not $7,000. Yeah, maybe $7,000. So, what I was planning on doing is just uh, taking a load of beams and lumber up to the iron ore mine. That's the next place, I believe. Um, I can't get into the map in this view. I gotta jump out here and go switch some switches. Put it down this one here. Strange that the track disappeared. See that? That's weird. Let's see what this uh, train passes if it's gonna be rail or not. There we go. That's freaky. Well, I might be using this view a little more than if the train's not gonna slam on the brakes every time we get out of the view. It's actually quite helpful. We're not going to worry about pulling the caboose with this new train. Bring it right up to the end here. Start applying a little bit of brake. A little more brake. Alright, and we'll set the brakes. I like to set all the brakes. Oh, gotta throw the switch. That could have been bad. Alright, let's uh, back up to it. Let's back up faster. So yeah, if we uh, look at our map here. Logging camp we don't supply anything to. The sawmill is full. We got plenty of cordwood at the smelter. And it's just waiting on iron ore. And we get that at the iron ore mine. Over here. With the arrow's pointing. So we need to start supplying it with the products from the sawmill. So we can start supplying material to the smelter. And start making some serious money. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it works.
All right, we're hooked up to the uh, 200 series flat deck uh, stake cars. We need to uh, pull up here and get some water. We got about half a boiler of water, and we're going to go a long ways. But we have water where we're going, so hopefully we can make it there. Actually, you know what? We're gonna plop down a regulator. Or a regulator. We're gonna plop down a water tank at the um, sawmill. We need one there anyway. We're gonna be turning and burning out of there. We're not gonna be coming back, so we're, we need one there anyway. And now I need to uh, run, maybe. Nope. So just a little bit of break. Not gonna run. Hey guys, welcome back. Um, <laughs> maybe like, why are we welcoming back? We just got started. Um, I actually ran into a slight issue and had to stop playing for uh, about a day. So it's the next day, and in that time, uh, we've got hammered with updates. But before we get into those, let's uh, get going here. Way too much. That's alright though. Alright, let's uh, turn off the brake. We'll reverse it forward and we'll start going. I'm gonna get into. Okay, that doesn't appear to lock anymore. I don't know if it did or not. Uh, anyway, uh, so the updates. So, yeah, as I said, uh, after. The big update we had yesterday, um, we got a few more. And the first one, we got uh, they fixed a bug where binding unload freight would remove the inner vehicle binding. Uh, they adjusted the log hitbox, which we just experienced, but uh, the wood didn't go in. Uh, they adjusted the steel pipe hitbox. Oh, you know that that log hitbox. So that's for the logs, not for firewood. Hello. Uh, they moved the sawmill log pond hitbox closer to the unloading ramp. Uh, they enlarged the unloader interaction hitbox. They optimized positions of log and cordwood cranes at logging camp. Oh. Well, we, we might uh, run into that one here in the very near future. So let's uh, go to the next one. So this one is yesterday's... Uh, second update, or rather today's second update. Um, they increased the firebox trend interaction distance. The firebox menu can now be accessed from about three meters away. Which, that's the one that we just ran into and it didn't want to work right. Uh, they inter inter increased the car unloader interaction hitbox to eight millimeter length. Uh, okay, they enter vehicle widget aim at the cab floor, which we just ran into that one as well I was trying to enter the vehicle and I was pressing the F key, but nothing was happening I looked down and it worked and they decreased the engine fuel consumption. So we'll keep our eye on that one, too um, I think the switches are all set, right? The second update today is just one little thing that they fixed they fixed a bug where the helper widgets would disappear when building. So, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what all that means. The helper widget when unloading and loading and stuff. Um, yeah. But, well, we might see it. So, what are we doing again? Uh, just to refresh my memory, we are heading up to the sawmill. And we need to pick up a load of planks and lumber and take it to the iron ore mine. And uh, we might take a look at some of these changes. We know we can hit the F key and it doesn't stop. But now if I hit the F key... Okay, well I still, still entered the vehicle, so that's... I don't know what that was all about. The unloading of the uh, material using the inner key... Uh, I'm curious to try that one. Well, we got to get loaded first. 
still haven't raised up my monitor. I was going to do that last night, but I uh, got busy doing other things. But I just got to try to remember to keep a better view. I just posted that uh, really long video, the secondary route to the um, to the uh, iron ore mine, which where we will be going today. And I gotta say, I I had to cut a lot. Um, I did just leave it record for a large portion of what I was doing, and I was talking about what I was doing. And when I got to editing it, I was like, "Wow, there's a lot of uh, information here that is kind of boring." <laughs> so I decided to cut it. We need to start slowing down. I'm gonna put the uh, lumber on the front here. Alright, we'll get this last car loaded up here, and we'll get on our way. Um, I think I need to actually plop down a water tower first. I think we needed to do that, right? No, I don't remember. Uh, let's see where would be a good spot for that. Probably back up. I like to do it on nice straight areas. Yeah, let's back up and we'll just put it like over here. I, want, I need the train out of the way. Actually, let's just... Well, we need the backup. Let's say we could pull, just pull forward. Yeah, we need water. Um, oh, I wish they would fix that and slack bug. So we got uh, a bunch of planks. We got uh, 12 planks on board. And we got 12 beams on board. So, try to keep the loads even. Here it's not even at the this, this industry. We got 100 beams and 58 lumber because everything's all screwed up. Uh, I've had some issues loading and, and stuff, so. Go ahead and set the brake on that. See, so let's plop that water tower like right here. Kind of what I did up at the uh, lumber camp as well. So I believe that two by four, two by six thing needs to be like right underneath that rail. About like that. And that's about the right distance. Seems like I ended up placing them several times. It's easier doing this one. And we'll go reverser forward, break off. Keep moving forward. Let's see if I'm too close. I probably am. I'm never dead on. Oh, maybe. Let's see, are we getting water in there? Go up. Oh, no. A little far away. Alright, well. Let's uh, demolish this. Try to place it again with the locomotive there. That was a little too. F Let's go like right there. There we go. So that 2x4 has got to be on that side of the, the track. I can't remember exactly where it's supposed to be. Is it filling up? Oh, yeah. I'll wait for that to finish. Shouldn't take too horribly long. We don't need firewood. We got plenty of firewood.
I don't want to stop. Okay. Should be full. I'm gonna need to go flip some switches now. Alright. Break off. Start going. So I just press that F key. Nothing's happening. You have to look at the floor and press it and you enter the vehicle. And that's what they were referring to in the change log. This will be the first loaded run up the new secondary iron ore route. Iron ore mine route. That's kind of a sharp turn. We're going to slow down a little bit. Make sure that everything transitions okay. I did make that loop really nice and smooth and it was pretty and it was awesome and then I had to put a switch in right there which screwed it all up just making sure that my train actually comes through okay and we'll be uh, speeding up here in just a few seconds alright let's go This switch should be set. I haven't done any more railroading since we uh, did the tour on that uh, last video. Let me know, do you guys like that uh, longer format video of the building of the track? Are you more into uh, this driving the trains and that sort of thing? Honestly, I like driving the trains. I do like the build, but I can only handle so much of it. And that was a lot of building over the last you know, few weeks. Yeah, that's like nothing for this thing. We need to get off this. We're going kind of fast. That's a sharp turn. forgot how sharp that was. It's not horrible, but you can see the, the rail, the car is starting to jink a little bit. And this bridge does climb up like a half a percent or 0.75 or something like that. And I really do like this bridge. I think it looks cool with those footer footings. Take some screenshots. It's always good to have those for the thumbnails. Alright, need to pick up the speed. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna be listening for the uh, the chuffing to start lugging. This is four percent. slowing down. I gotta give it more 100% reg. I don't have any sand. I'm not even sure that helps or not. I didn't save. Going around that corner at high speed just like that, I realized I did not save. I made it. And that was the hard part. I mean, this is all steep, but it's doable, I believe.
got some bumps and things there, but it's not bad. You know, it's not a, it's not a bad route. It's not horribly unrealistic. If we can cut into the hillside, it would be a lot better. But beggars can't be choosers at this point. Alright, we're going to start backing off that regulator. Because we are pretty much level now. I didn't have to throw fire the uh, wood in the firebox at all during that entire thing. Alright. Just coast on in here. I can make this a little bit smoother. I probably will when I make that inner loop. save. So now let's figure out how I have to unload. It's the first time I've unloaded since that uh, update. I'm looking for that message in the upper corner. Click and drag down does nothing. I'm not seeing that message. Moments later. There we go. Oh, do I have to turn that on? It says toggle unload. I have to stare at this, the car, I think, right? Is that what's going on here? The actual car, not the, not the product, but the car. Okay, let's uh, do the key binding thing. Options, controls. Unload freight. Press any key. We'll just hit that key. We'll say that's that's the inner key, right? Back. Back. What am I doing? Cool. All right. So then there it goes. All right. All right, and just like that, we got 24 out of 290 iron ore. Let's uh, let's keep doing this. Uh, we got to go all the way down to the smelter now. Uh, let's see how we doing on fire. 42 percent, plenty of water. Let's just go. This is a lot of downhill, so oh, break off. There we go. So I'll do a lot more of these runs off camera, uh, obviously, because this could be a little boring, a little monotonous, not much to talk about, plenty to see, the scenery never gets old, I do want to see what this track looks like from this track. So we'll take this all the way back to the sawmill via the smelter and uh, see how it goes. That's where we'll end this video when we get back to the sawmill. It doesn't look horrible over there. Some of those bridges look pretty cool. And the walls aren't horribly steep, kind of blends in with the existing. Kind of blends in with the existing, uh, you know, rock faces. That's kind of neat. I'm just standing on the ed edge of the platform here. <laughs> I like hanging my head out the window. 
kind of see where I'm going. I would like to look out this window, but if I crouch, I can't uh, see anything. I'll hang my head outside. This is the long run. Still a few spots I need to fix on here. I didn't save before leaving. We might stop up here so I can save. Like right here. You always want to save on uh, unbuilt ground. I always try to wait for the trains to stop. Just so there's not an issue. Alright, give us some rag. Before getting off the brakes, we don't roll backwards. So cool. I do like this route. It's very pretty. I, I just love the game. How stunning the graphics are in this game. We're actually going to apply a bit of brake. Let's do 25% brake. Just because this is pretty steep. We do have uh, some sharp corners and probably a little bit of janky track. Still got to do a maintenance, some maintenance on the track. That's got a little bit of a wobble to that track right there. Locomotive just went over. There's a waterfall over there. Let's see how much money we have now after selling that. We got $3,872. We need 600 and, well, we said, uh, excuse me, not 600, $7,000 roughly uh, to buy the locomotive and the cars that we need. And let me know, I haven't really heard from anyone as far as what locomotive we should get. Let me know in the comments below. We'll take a look at them here at the sawmill again. We can get in, into that menu. I think we start going a little fast here. This bridge is such a pain in the butt to make. That's why it's kind of wonky and wobbly.
You like this bridge too? I may should put those footers down there like I did on, did on that other bridge. Oops. Wrong, whoops. <laughs> Wrong thing. Oh my gosh. <laughs> slam the reverser, slam on the brakes. Uh, that's like emergency braking right there. <laughs> Oh, some of this track. Oh, we're going really fast. Oh, yep, 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 yep. Oh, no. Heavy braking. I was staring at the how bad the track was and didn't realize that we were going way too fast. It looks like we lost a car, too. <laughs> okay, well, set the brake. Nothing we can't fix. Should have rotated it. Break is at the wrong end. I don't know if I can do that. That says rotate clockwise, left mouse button. rotated. Oh, cool. <laughs> that's the first time that's actually worked for me. Let's see if it'll do it again. Hey, it works. Are we too close? Start moving. This is not flat. We should be rolling. Okay, well, Hey. I don't want to go too fast, but I want to go in the right direction here. That's still not enough. <laughs> We're going. Nope, no, we're not.
Why well, starting on the hills? No joke. Seventy percent do it. This is turn to a big, big pain in the butt. Come on. I'll just give her a hundred. No momentum, corner, pushing uphill. Now we're going way too fast. But, boom. And that one, we need to... <laughs> it wasn't fast enough. <laughs> okay, we'll turn off the brake. We'll just coast down a few feet, and hopefully we turn that brake off. It should roll. Should. Push it. <clears throat> this is beyond annoying. How come this train, this car, isn't rolling down this rather steep descent? Forcing me to back up. Uphill. Pushing a large train uphill. I should just roll. You can hear the frustration in my voice, I'm sure, because that is just annoying. I don't know if they've changed something or if it's a bug or what. We're going way too fast again. That's what happens when you go too fast down a messed up track. This switch should be set correctly. I'm not even gonna look at it. We'll look at our. We need water. So I'm going to uh, go into this this view so I can actually see better and control the train. Yeah, we definitely need a uh, locomotive with a tender that can hold more water. Pull longer trains. There's a big bridge over there in the distance. I hate this bridge. I don't. I do not like this bridge at all. Wish uh, 
we could have figured something else out. I could follow the side of that hill down around a little better. And when I was scouting it, I just couldn't couldn't make it work. So not the three percent. This is a really fun game. I'm I am really enjoying this game. Even though some things really frustrate the crap out of me. And it's not horribly realistic. I don't think they're trying to be, the developers are trying to be realistic. They're just trying to make it fun and enjoyable. And I, I definitely respect that. And it is fun. It is it is enjoyable. It is rewarding. I gotta cut that tree down. A little too close. We should come in the uh, opposite way that we came out of the sawmill. <laughs> I laugh every time I see that. And I just realized that um can't really turn around here very easily. We're gonna have to do some backing up. Like we probably should have went that way on that spur and then backed around this loop to get loaded so we can just get out of here straight. Otherwise we have to put a loop on the other side, which it's just a Y there, it's not a loop. And we'll see, I'll take a look at it. So what I was talking about, is like now when we get loaded, we want to go back out that way. But this track goes that way. So we need to make it loop around and get on this line. I think we just get loaded, we'll back it down this way, and then just switch that switch right here, and then go that way. It's a little bit more work, but it's better than jacking up you know, my rail yards. And So I'm going to get loaded and start making more runs. I'm not going to force you to watch all that. Oh, let's take a look at these locomotives, because I really do want your guys' opinion. Um, before we do anything, let's save. Um... So we're looking at getting a new locomotive. And the choices are... I, I don't want to go with this one yet. Um, the Hessler, the Heisler, or whatever. Uh, I, I, I eventually, I think I want it. But, you know, I've seen other people driving it. It's extremely slow. I don't mind slow. And it's got a lot of attractive effort. It's also extremely expensive. So... Our choices are this one, uh, the Kuk Mogul, or the D D R the D and R G Class Seventy. I kind of like this one. Uh, the tractive effort is eleven thousand six hundred ninety pounds, and this one is nine thousand three hundred fourteen. So I'm leaning towards this one, but I don't know. You guys tell me. I don't know how fast it is. I don't know anything about it. So, I mean, they're almost the exact same engine. Locomotive. And this one's cool. I mean, it's a good, good engine. But, um... Let's see, how much does it weigh? So, am I reading that right? 72,000 pounds? Wow, this one's really heavy. 130 PSI, 160 PSI. That's why this one's got a lot more torque. It's lighter and it uses more steam, you know, steam pressure. But the Mogul, super heavy too. 
127, 127. These two are so close. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments section below. Tell me which one of these you want me to buy, and I will buy it. And we will use Ultra for doing short, you know, trains and, and that sort of thing. But right now, we don't have nearly enough money for any of it. So I'm going to keep making these runs and keep supplying uh, the, the sawmill here. And keep supplying the uh, iron ore mine. And hopefully, by the time we're ready to start hauling iron ore, uh, we'll have enough money. And, uh, yeah, we'll buy those and we'll go from there. So, alright, well thank you very much for watching, and have a good day. We'll see you on the next one.